hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to perform multi-row combination using the if function so let's get started do remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notified of new videos let's see our sample data set and what exactly we want to achieve now in our sample data set in column a we have a list of different countries and of course, in column B, we have the states or provinces as the case may be. In column C, we have the population. Now, in column D, too, for instance, we're going to write if formula that's going to combine Kentucky and the population, which are in cell B2 and also C2, respectively. Now, in column D3, we're going to combine Kentucky with the population and also we're going to have New York. And so on and so forth. Now let's start with the first formula in cell D2. So I'm going to type cosine, of course, if function. Now the if function requires the logical test, which is going to return either false or true, as the case may be. Now the logical test is going to be so I want to check the value in cell A2, whether it is equal to the value in cell A1. From the onset, I can naturally tell this is actually going to return false which is indeed false comma now in a case whereby some would come true what do i want to actually have and of course when some return false what exactly do i want to return now for the value if false i'm going to just take this value at the top here which is cell d1 and then i'm going to concatenate that with the what i call double pipe now the double pipe is going to be inside double quotation so single quote so i'm going to use double pipe space and i close the double pipe and i'm going to use the ampersand sign so i'm going to reference the value in cell b2 which is kentucky and again i'm going to use yet another ampersand and i actually want the space between this value in column b and the value in column c so i'm going to use single quote space and i close the single quote yet another ampersand and finally i'm going to reference the value in cell c2 now i actually want this to be formatted with comma separator therefore i'm going to train the text function so text now the text required value is of course the value in cell c2 comma now give me the format text i'm going to just use double quote then ampersand the pound sign or h sign comma and then we have to h sign zero and of course we close that up close the text formula now we are back to the if now any i'm going to just put in a comma and for the value force i'm going to do something similar so i'm just going to take the value in b2 again i'm going to use the ampersand and of course i need space in between another ampersand and then i need to do something similar like this i'm just copy this okay so that i know how to retype it or it from the beginning so i'm just going to paste here and i close the if formula and that's exactly what we want to achieve so control enter cool now this actually gave us because the logical test is definitely false so it gave us this section of the formula and that's what we have here in talking and the population okay now let's see what happened when i double click the other field absolutely cool so we have kentucky the population with the double pipe and also we have the new york and its population now in this row four we have kentucky new york california because we have california here in row five we have you know kentucky all through to washington state and the population now all this return um true because the logical test here a3 definitely equals a2 which is exactly what we have here now when i come to Cal um, canada for instance this section returned false just like what we had here and that's why we have this manitoba and the population but in cell d15 we have the logical test returning true and we have combination of Manitoba population and Alberta and so on and so forth. So this is essentially how we form what I call multi-row combination using a function. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the subscribe button. 
hit the bell icon you can share you can like and also comment in the section below because there's a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers